I just thought I'd make a quick video today showing how I put together my brood frames. These are Hoffman self-spacing frames and I'm using wired foundation. So this is the top bar and the first thing I need to do is remove this uh, wooden strip which just pulls away. And I'll just set that to one side because I'm going to use it in a minute. Uh, just to clean up this edge where the, the strips come off, I'm just going to use a chisel and, and run it along. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take two side pieces and they just push on like that. And they've got a, a self-spacing mechanism, um, which is basically just rather than having a, a flat edge on both sides, there's actually a, a chamfered edge on one side. So when you put the other end piece on, the chamfered edge points in the opposite direction. So they just literally push on like that. And then I'm going to get two uh, bottom pieces, bottom rails, and they're just going to push on like this. So I'm just going to make sure that they're square and fully in. So I'm happy with them. So I'm going to put in six nails now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're just little three quarter inch frame nails. I bought these frames from Thorns and they have actually provided the nails. Sometimes the last, the last frames I bought, they didn't provide the nails um, at the company I bought them from, which I thought was a, bit, a little bit tight. So that's all the nails in and next I'm going to put the foundation in. So I've got wired foundation um, which I think just makes it a bit stronger and I don't know if you can see on the camera but there's, there's three little wire loops at the top and then on the other side there's two. So I'm going to take the side with three of them and I'm going to insert it with that side facing down. So it just goes in at the top it can be a little bit tight and it'll just slide slide in like that once I get it nearly to the bottom I just pull these loops at 90 degrees because they're what's going to be used to put the nails through to fix it to the frame. So I can then just push it the rest of the way. And then 
this little wooden piece that we took off the top bar originally is what's going to be used to secure the foundation into the frame and it's just going to be via three three nails one in there one in there and one in there each one will go through the uh, wire loop just to secure it and if you've got fat fingers like me you'll find this a little bit a little bit awkward to do So that's the third and final nail in and the last thing to do is just to bend around the two wire loops at the bottom there and that's the frame and foundation finished they're pretty simple to do really um, i don't glue them i know some people do um, but yeah i think i think it's fine like that so these are uh, hoffman self-spacing dn4 frames so that's just how i put my frames together i know a lot of people um, have different ideas and do it differently if you've got any thoughts please leave them in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button incidentally just before i go i just want to show you that i've moved one of the swarm traps this is the trap that was on top of the um, large shed which has a metal roof and the metal roof was getting really quite hot sort of in sunny weather so i've decided to move it and i've put it up this tree